joints only last for so long. Yes, if you have rheumatoid arthritis or if you had a joint replacement, you know what I mean. A man-made joint only lasts between 10 to 20 years. So this year has been quite the journey because I've actually been doing a complete diagnostic to see where I stand. Some of it has been good news and some of it not so much. So nothing was perfect. It was a little give and take. And I'm in that place where <laughs> what is the worst scenario? What would you rather live with? Those are the choices I've had to make. Do I want to live with a straight foot and possibly be able to put shoes on for a bit longer, normal shoes anyways, um, or keep it as is and deal with the consequences as they come? Same thing with the hand. If I fix it, there'll be other choices and other things in my life I won't be able to do. Um, you know, fun choices. Also, my eyesight was one of the biggest ones this year. I didn't realize it had gotten so bad. I knew that... Um, I've had an eye disease for a while due to the prednisone use. So what happens with prednisone, it attacks almost as bad as the disease itself. So it's attacked my eyes and especially the left one. And I have what's called, I think it's called central sinus retinopathy. In other words, I'm losing central vision. And we're at that point where it's pretty much there. And when I heard the news, or when I saw it rather, because I actually was doing the eye exam and I couldn't see, um, I was pretty down finding all of this news out. There's really nothing they can do for me. Basically, it's just gonna pan out the way it's gonna pan out and um, I will have to live with that and live with those disabilities and deformities. What I was thinking most about was my eyesight. And it reminded me of a sermon that Father once said, and he said, you know what? If you had the choice, would you rather be blind and see Christ in everything, or would you rather see and be blind to Christ? Well, that's a no-brainer, right? And the beautiful thing is, even if I lose my sight, um, I will never lose sight of the Lord, because it's always in here, um, and it's something I could always see and be. And so when he said that in Mass, I was like completely hands down, absolutely no thought of all. No thought at all is I would absolutely choose to be blind and see rather than to see and be blind. So when we think of the struggles that we have, a lot of it comes in the way that we choose to look at it. What perspective do we have on the situation? One more message that stood out to me, and I don't remember where it came from, but it went a little something like this. It was like, you know, God is always preparing you. Through each trial that you get through, God is preparing you for the next. And as I look back and I think on my life and all the things that I've had to overcome and had to be strong for, he absolutely did prepare me the times before to get through the next. And it's kind of scary because I've been through quite a lot um, you know, 2019, 2020, 2021, plus two COVIDs. That was intense, but was it only in preparation for what's to come? And I think I have to hold on and remember that he's never left me. And if I keep my eyes on him, that I will get through whatever life brings my way. And, you know, it, it's, it's hard to think what could happen. So I always have to stop myself and not go there. Another thought was that through each trial of suffering, God is actually truly calling you closer to him and your relationship becomes stronger with him because you are in a place where you are completely dependent on God because no one in this world can help you. There's no doctor that can help me. There's no one in my family that can help me. No one. So whose hands am I really in? I am in the hands of Christ. So until next time, I will see you, but know that I am writing, I'm continuing to write, and I will be using um, these videos to help start sharing pieces of that story. So until next time, I'll see you. The dog is leaving me now. Bye.